The Raspberry Pi is something of a miracle, a multi-purpose, affordable computer that is as at home controlling a robot or managing a greenhouse as it is running retro games or serving media. But the Raspberry Pi is more or less a bare bones kit. The tiny PCB isn't heavy enough to sit on a desktop without being dragged around by cables. The usual cases are plastic, lightweight, prone to overheating, little more than functional, and usually without room for additional storage. The solution then is surely a heavier case, well ventilated with space for a heatsink and additional storage. That might be the case that solves the Raspberry Pi's desktop replacement ambitions. I'm Christian from Make Use Of, and this is the DeskPi Pro, available to buy now from seedstudio.com. It's a slimline but pretty weighty case for the Raspberry Pi 4. It ships in pre-assembled and kit form and has the potential to turn your Raspberry Pi into the desktop or set-top system that you always wanted it to be. We picked up the full kit to assemble with a Raspberry Pi 4 8GB. Installing the Raspberry Pi into the DeskPi Pro is much like installing any motherboard into any case. There's just a slight difference in scale. The Pi plugs into the DeskPi Pro's own mainboard, which affords USB expansions, a power switch, a new micro SD slot, extended HDMI ports, a new TRRS connector, and a connection to your chosen expanded storage. This is mounted in the case via a SATA connection, although there is also a mounting board for M2 storage, but that's B key only, sadly. For the test case, I used a 256GB SSD screwed into place with the included fixing screws. As with a standard motherboard, fitting the cooling apparatus, however, was annoyingly fiddly. Despite close adherence to the instruction manual, I had to assemble the heatsink several times to get it right, and some pressure is required to screw the spider-like ice tower into position. After connecting some cables and screwing the Raspberry Pi and the DeskPi Pro's own board into place, the cooling system should be aligned with the case's cooling vents. This is easily misaligned, so some care is required here. Now it's also worth noting that the screws packaged with the review unit were not labelled. They were also not grouped by type, resulting in some confusion during assembly. So additional care is required. Obviously we don't know if the final packaging will include labelling, so keep this in mind. A Raspberry Pi mounted in the DeskPi Pro can use pretty much any Linux operating system. I tested it on the latest Raspberry Pi OS with the DeskPi fan controller script installed. This is available from the DeskPi website or from the GitHub page and is compatible with Raspberry Pi OS, Ubuntu Mate, Manjaro, Kali and even RetroPi. Connect a keyboard and mouse, hook up a monitor and you have a ready to go Raspberry Pi desktop replacement complete with accessible USB ports and your choice of internal storage. Now, as good as it is, the DeskPi Pro isn't perfect. The USB 3.0 ports don't seem to like wireless dongles for mouse and keyboard, for example, although this may be an issue with interference from the cooling unit. Whatever the case, it's a frustration. On the matter of the cooling system, using the DeskPi Pro script for controlling the fan is surprisingly tense. The level of English used in the menu isn't quite descriptive enough to provide a full insight as to what each setting does. Consequently, this is very much a set it and see approach. How you use your Raspberry Pi in the DeskPi Pro will determine the correct settings. There's some trial and error involved here. Another issue is the switch from micro HDMI to HDMI. If you own a Raspberry Pi 4, there is a good chance that you also own a micro HDMI cable. Switching this to standard HDMI not only means you need a new HDMI cable, but you have a redundant micro HDMI to HDMI cable. I feel a better solution would have been to just upsize one of the micro HDMI ports found on the Raspberry Pi 4 ports. On the plus side though, the DeskPi Pro hits the button in being heavy with the NUC style aluminum alloy case cool to the touch. Front and rear panels are acrylic, meanwhile designed to encourage Wi-Fi reception. Ultimately, the DeskPi Pro is 
arguably the best case available for anyone planning to put their Raspberry Pi 4 to work in any hardcore capacity. Using the 8GB Pi in the Desk Pi Pro revealed the Pi's hidden desktop replacement credentials. Accessible USB ports, a push-push micro SD card slot, a favorite feature on the Raspberry Pi 2, multiple expanded storage options, easy access to the all-important GPIO, and of course, the functional power button. Make this a Raspberry Pi case that you cannot overlook if you need dedicated media streaming, a retro gaming powerhouse, or an affordable desktop computer. If you're interested in reviews of consumer tech of all kinds, subscribe to the Make Use Of YouTube channel, where you'll also find tips, tricks, and giveaways. Competition time! We're giving you the chance to supercharge your Raspberry Pi 4 with a brand new Desk Pi Pro. To enter this giveaway, read the full review and type this code into the competition widget. The code is Desktop Raspberry. The competition ends in around three weeks' time and the winning entry will be notified by email. Get your entries in today and good luck.